They're the secrets of ancient Egypt, which for thousands of years lay submerged. There is an entire world, alive and thriving as you dive into our oceans. But many hidden secrets have been lost to the swirling depths over the years. However, scientists have made startling, yet terrifying underwater discoveries that threaten our knowledge of the ancient world. Number 1. Thonis Heracleon Heracleon, the lost city of Egypt, is what legends are made of. The port city was considered a myth for many years, since no one had found any evidence of it anywhere. Much like the lost city of Atlantis, which only exists in stories. But Heracleon became a reality in 2000, when a team of archaeologists, led by French explorer Frank Godio, found the underwater city after a five-year search. The city was founded almost 2,700 years ago on present-day Abu Kir Bay, 15 miles northeast of Alexandria. You wouldn't believe what they found under the water. Numerous archaeological treasures were found at Heracleon, allowing researchers to glimpse life in Egypt thousands of years ago. Researchers found a barris, an ancient Nile riverboat from the waters of Heracleon. The design of this boat coincides perfectly with a description written by historian Herodotus in 450 BC. Another important find was the Stella, located near the temple of Amun Gereb. Etched on its back was a decree of King Nectanebo I that confirmed the name of the city as Thonis. Interestingly, until the discovery of this stella, archaeologists and historians believed that Thonis and Heracleon were different cities. However, the stella confirmed that they were both Greek and Egyptian names for the same city. Thonis was an illustrious port city. Can you imagine how many ships were found near the city? More than 70. It's the largest fleet of ships ever discovered in the ancient world, which is evidence of the Egyptian power in trade across the Mediterranean. Several other treasures were found in the ruins, including a statue of Cleopatra wearing the tunic of the goddess Isis, gold coins, jewelry, ceramic pieces, ritual animal sarcophagi, and other statues of Egyptian deities. Can you imagine an entire city going underwater? What could have possibly caused such an event? Scientists believe that Heracleon's demise may be credited to a combination of natural factors, such as rising water levels, tectonic activity, earthquakes, and soil liquefaction that caused the city to completely sink into the depths of the sea between the 3rd and 2nd century BC. Who knows what else the sea has concealed within itself? Perhaps one day, someone will find the lost city of Atlantis too. The next underwater structure will leave you spellbound. Number 2. Unaguni Monument Unaguni Monument is certainly a sight to behold, and has sparked significant controversy among scientists across the globe. Are you ready to find out its unbelievable story? It was 1986, when a man named Kirachiro Aratake was diving off Yunaguni Island in Okinawa to observe the hammerhead sharks in the region. But he never expected to encounter a mysterious structure in the shallow water. The structure was 25 meters tall, 100 meters long, and 60 meters wide, and it resembled a pyramid with several steps leading to the top. The edges and angles were clean and symmetrical, too perfect for a natural arrangement. The rock was made of shale and sandstone and covered around 45,000 square meters. Kiachiro knew instantly that he had discovered something too important to comprehend. It was dubbed the Yunaguni Monument. Researcher Masaki Kimura believes the monument is made by an ancient civilization. According to his research, the stone structure dates back 10,000 years 
and was once part of the lost continent of Mu. Mu was a mythical continent in the Pacific that can be compared to the myths of Atlantis and Lemuria. However, Kimuru backed his claims with undeniable logic. He cited that Japan was positioned dangerously in the Ring of Fire, which made it susceptible to frequent earthquakes and volcanic activity. In addition, Japan also experienced deadly typhoons that could easily drive land beneath the sea. He also stressed that the structure included statues that looked like animals, rock carvings, and post holes pointing to human activity. Some scientists believe the Yunaguni Monument is the work of the Yomon tribe, a group of hunter-gatherers who lived in Japan up to 300 BC. What do you think? Is it possible that this structure was made by a civilization thousands of years ago? Maybe not. Here's the other side to this story that's hard to ignore. Geologist Robert Scooch of Boston University is probably the biggest critic of Kimura's theories. According to Scooch, the structure contains numerous well-defined parallel bedding planes, along which the layers easily separate. He believes the monument is nothing more than a natural formation, and the sharp angles can easily be explained by the sandstone's erosion from the area's naturally strong currents. The structure could also have been created through intense tectonic movement over thousands of years. The next underwater discovery cost the UK thousands of precious pounds. Number 3. SS Gasopa The SS Gasopa was a 125-meter, steel-hulled British cargo steamship that left Calcutta on the 5th of December 1940. The ship was enlisted in the service of the United Kingdom Ministry of War Transport and was carrying a whopping 2,817 silver bars, or 110 tons worth of the precious metal, along with enough tea for 65% of Britain's entire population at the time. However, the SS Garisopa met a tragic fate that was a serious blow to the United Kingdom, considering the monetary worth of its cargo. On the 14th of February 1941, the steamship captain, Gerald Highland realized that the Garisopa's coal reserves were dropping precariously low, making it impossible for the ship to reach London. Therefore, they changed course for Galway. Unfortunately, three days from safety, SS Garisopa was hit by a torpedo from a German U-boat and everything was lost. As the ship sunk to the depths of the Atlantic Ocean, 86 crew members lost their lives and all the precious cargo on board disappeared. The UK Ministry of War Transport paid an insurance loss of almost £325,000 at the time for the silver bars lost at sea. The ship was also carrying 700 letters that were never delivered to their destinations. The letters were evidence of the frustrations of life in India for the British during the Second World War. The steamship sank 4,700 meters into the ocean, half a mile deeper than the wreck of the Titanic. Many decades later, in 2011, the UK Government Department for Transport commissioned the Odyssey Marine Exploration to salvage the cargo from the Garisopa. A year later, the shipwreck was located 300 miles off the coast of Ireland. Do you think Odyssey was able to reclaim the lost treasure? In July 2012, Odyssey recovered 48 tons of silver from the shipwreck, and then in 2013, more than 61 tons of silver was retrieved. This extraordinary deep-sea operation was one of the largest to be conducted anywhere in the world. Wait until you hear about the next underwater discovery that challenges everything you believe about ancient civilizations. Number 4. Antikythera Mechanism Modern humans made up their minds about ancient civilizations many years ago, and have assumed that knowledge of the solar system, mathematics, engineering, and advanced construction methods is the sole property of advanced civilizations, such as ourselves. 
But time and again, something incredible surfaces that defies everything we know or think we know about ancient humans. One such artifact is the Antikythera Mechanism, a cultural treasure that has baffled scholars across many disciplines. Pieces of this mechanism were retrieved from the wreckage of an ancient Greek ship off the coast of the island Antikythera in 1901. While at first glance, the three flat, misshapen pieces of bronze don't appear extraordinary, as you go closer, the sight becomes astounding. You can see gears with neat triangular teeth, like the inside of a clock, and a ring divided into degrees. Although most of it is obscured by corrosion, it's hard to ignore the sophisticated technology it indicates, something scientists never expected from people who lived thousands of years ago. After its discovery, scientists revealed the device must have simulated the movements of the heavens. If you held it in the palm of your hand, the device would allow you to track the paths of the sun, moon, and planets with surprising accuracy. One researcher even called it an ancient Greek computer. However, this important discovery was soon forgotten when the X-ray images from the research became too confusing for scientists to decipher. But things began to change in 2006 when it again caught the eye of modern researchers like Mike Edmonds of Cardiff University in Wales. Mike, with his team, revealed shocking details of the device's inner workings as well as hidden inscriptions. And while a lot about this device is still unknown, with most of its parts missing, one thing is for sure. The ancient Greeks were more than capable of incredible ingenuity, and the technological prowess is evidence that our assumptions about our history are way off the mark. Do you agree? Number 5. Cenote Angelita Located in Mexico's Yucatan Peninsula is a unique underwater phenomenon that attracts thousands of divers every year. An incredible natural wonder, the river is actually a layer of hydrogen sulfide that forms at a depth of around 100 feet in the cenote, creating the illusion of a flowing river. The layer of hydrogen sulfide is generated through the decomposition of organic matter that settles at the bottom, forming a dense toxic environment that separates the fresh water above from the salt water below. Believe it or not, the first time you look at the cloudy layer that appears like a flowing river, you're reminded of a naturally flowing river in a jungle since the underwater phenomenon is surrounded by fallen trees and other debris on its banks. When divers descend into the cenote, the water is hazy for the first 10 to 15 meters due to the organic material that has fallen into the cenote. But as you dive deeper, the haze begins to clear out, and this is where you get to experience the eerie but magical layer of hydrogen sulfide floating around like a whimsical cloud in Cenote Angelita. Once you cross the layer of hydrogen sulfide, you're greeted by complete darkness as a thick cloud blocks all the light. This marvelous underwater discovery is what a diver's dreams are made of. Number 6. The Baltic Sea Anomaly Lying in the waters between Sweden and Finland is a mysterious object that has fascinated researchers since it was discovered in 2011. The object, dubbed the Baltic Sea Mystery, resembles a vast disk almost 60 meters wide, resting peacefully under the freezing waters of the Gulf of Botnia. The object has a peculiar shape with a mushroom-like top, and the remaining structure has straight edges, visible boxes, and construction lines. The Baltic Sea anomaly has been given many names, like the underwater Stonehenge, a portal to another world, and a stone structure left behind by an ancient civilization. There are several exciting theories about this enigmatic object, ranging from the plausible to the fantastical. Some researchers believe it is a German ballistic object that landed in the sea during the Second World War, while others compare it to a UFO that found its way into the Baltic Sea. 
the UFO claims were further reinforced when researchers found pavement-like platforms extending from the object to about 300 meters. In addition, a group of researchers who went to study the anomaly experienced an unusual occurrence where all their electrical equipment began to malfunction as they approached the object. This led them to believe there was some kind of energy around the anomaly that couldn't be explained. However, some scientists have an entirely different theory. They believe the mysterious object may have been formed as a consequence of the glacial thawing process around the Ice Age. Others claim that the object isn't made up of metal at all, therefore cannot be classified as evidence of extraterrestrial contact. Maybe it's a result of volcanic activity on the Baltic seabed, or perhaps it is an asteroid or meteorite that hit the Earth and sank into the depths thousands of years ago. The only problem is that all these theories cannot explain why electrical equipment stops functioning as you go closer to the object. It seems that the Baltic Sea anomaly still holds many secrets modern researchers are still trying to figure out. Thanks for joining us on this water-filled trip. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and press the notification bell for more exciting videos. Until next time, keep exploring.